Hello guys and welcome to another Roblox Studio video and today we are going to be showing you how to make a overhead developer tag GUI. So before we get started be sure to like this video right now and subscribe guys. Let's get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So first of all what you're going to do you're going to go to www.roblox.com and you're going to click the create icon. Next, you're going to click create new game. What you can do is you can do any one you want, but all you but you can just do it straight and simple to the base plate. Once you're done with that, click create game. Right now, it's going to be loading Roblox Studio for yourself. So we'll just wait while that loads. Oh, there we go. There it is. My bad. Now, what you're going to do is you should have a brand new, um, brand new place. So what you're going to do is click the Edit. And I'm sure this is very straightforward. So it's very, it's really easy to do. But you could just be starting out with Roblox Studio, so we want to make it informative. Now, this is the loading part. Okay, guys, so what you're going to have to have open here is you're going to have Properties open, Explorer, and the Toolbox, and the Output. And you can size these to your liking by easily just going over here and putting them down a bit. The output sees what is wrong with the scripts. So if we get the script wrong, we should see our problem with the output. So this is what your screen should look like. Okay, now let's get into the real thing. Right, you're going to do here is on the top you have these options. Click the part. Now you should have this thing here, which comes up. And in your explore, you're going to see a part. Which is right here. Now if you hover over it, you see a plus sign. Click that plus sign. And if you don't see the plus sign, right click. And click insert object. And you will have this as well. But just click that plus sign for now. And then search billboard GUI. And in the billboard GUI, you're going to add a text label. Now you're going to have a gray looking, a gray rectangle come up from your screen and it might be white too from an angle but what we're going to do here is we're going to click the text label and in your properties section scroll down until you see the studs forgot what it's called um it's like studs position or something wait a second i think that's a billboard GUI. yes so click the billboard gui now and go to properties and go to studs offset now you're going to have three numbers here what you're going to do in the middle you're going to change it to 2.5 two and a half and now you will see it is above the player's head i mean not the head it's above the part more not blending with it once you're done with that you can now customize it to your liking which you're going to click the text label now and you're going to change the background transparency to one and now you have no background and you're going to change the text to your liking so i'm going to choose the font cartoon and the text i'm going to change the text to just do anything for now like how about we just start with developer this is not going to matter and then what you're going to do is do text color I'm going to make mine yellow. This type of yellow. 255-2550. So once we click OK, we have that now. And do the text scale. And change the text stroke transparency to zero. Now you have something which should look like this, and for some reason it's doing this. Oh, 
Uh, so now, if that happens, try to enter something a little bit simpler. There we go. I might have to do it a few times. Now pretend this part is the player's head. It's going to go above the player head during the script. Now what you're going to do is you're going to drag the billboard GUI into the server storage. And you can delete the part now. If your billboard GUI goes away from the part, that is completely normal. So next, go to the server script service and add a script. Now you have a script here. We're going to make it go to the player's head and we're going to tell it to go to yours. So what you should do is we're going to start off with saying local billboard GUI equals game colon git service then parentheses server storage then colon wait for child and then parentheses billboard GUI and then do enter twice then you have line three. Then you game. Wait a second. I need to look through this script again. All right, that seems okay. You can do tab if you want, which is what I'm gonna do. And then game dot players dot player added colon connect and then you're going to have parentheses here type in function parentheses player and then double enter and then player dot character added and colon connect and then parentheses function character and then double enter now in this in this line of luo we're going to do make it so it goes to your character you can enter any username in the line here and it will go to that character if player this is probably the most important script to line if player dot name double equal sign and then between these we're going to put your roblox username make sure it's not case sensitive so make sure you put everything exactly how it is and then space then and i'm going to put a little note to the side saying between the between those um you're going between the dialogue marks. You're going to put put a lot of comma. Put your role. God, I can't type. Put your Roblox username. Okay. You do not have to enter this comma. And we'll do a thing to help you. Then enter and do local cloned. GUI equals billboard GUI colon clone and two parentheses. Enter it, and then do cloned GUI dot text label, which is syncing to the text label, which is right here in the billboard GUI. So text label dot text and right here this is where you can put anything you want but you <clears throat> but you should put developer which is the whole point then you cloned GUI dot text label dot text color three equals Color three dot from RGB. 
and then two parentheses. Now, what you're going to do with these two parentheses is you're going to go back, and you're going to add a part. And what you're going to do here is you're going to go to this color here. And when you select the color you want, you're going to see the red, green, and blue values. So get a piece of paper and write this down. So you have the 255, and then the 255, and then the 0. So now what you're going to do is you can go to between these parentheses and, and enter that in, which is yellow. If you want yellow, you can just put exactly what I just put in. So now back to what it is. Now do clone, enter clone GUI dot parent equals game dot workspace colon wait for child and player dot name between the parentheses. And now what we're going to do with this is we're going to put it to the character's head. So how we're going to do this is we're going to do dot head. So now it should be going to the player's head. And I think we just got that script done. But what we're going to do is we're going to separate these enters a bit more. So this, end, I mean the end. And the end is perfect at line 12. But this one, I don't think it matters. But just put this one to line 14. And then put this one to line 17. I don't think it matters at all. but. I don't know. Just do it if you want. So yes, now if you play the game, you should have your developer tag. Let's let this load. There you go, guys. You have your developer chat tag right there, which is just perfect. Everything works guys. If you guys have any problems with the tutorial or Basically anything gone wrong anything do not dislike the video what you got what you should do is comment and Say what is wrong because that will help And I will help you guys out in fact you guys can invite me to your game Well, I guess not because you have to be friends with me but yeah, I guess if you're one of my Roblox friends, uh, you can just, I'll, you can invite me and we can do this easily. Tomorrow's video might be how to script teleport pads, or how to add text labels to your screen for the starters, or how to make a loading screen, which, that one, how to make a loading screen is going to be really hard to, so, that will be advanced, but, yes guys, so, it obviously worked. So what now you're going to do is you're going to file, publish to Roblox. Did I click as or not? Uh, file, publish to Roblox. And now the output will say it's published, published successfully. So yeah, guys, I was using like an accent throughout the video, by the way. Like, for some reason I do that. But yes, guys, this is my normal voice. Like right here. I guess maybe it is. That's weird. Alright guys, well, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. We recently just hit 2,100 subscribers, guys. So yes, what you're going to do right now is you're going to subscribe. There you go. So be sure to subscribe, guys. And, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.